Welcoming everyone, a boisterous back and forth today on the SUNY Brockport campus in the lead up to a speaking event involving Jalil Muntakim, also known as Anthony Bottom. He was convicted of murdering two New York City police officers in 1971. Muntakim served around 50 years in prison and now he lives in Brighton. Adam Chodak was there as two sides with differing views rallied on opposite sides of the street. Adam joins us now. So how did it all go? Good evening, Teresa. Confrontational, but ended without any major incident, though emotions did run high. This event has garnered quite a bit of attention over the last few weeks, many folks calling for it to be canceled. But tonight, Muntakim did indeed speak virtually before hundreds of SUNY students. We back the blue. The crowd opposed to Jaleel Muntakim's virtual appearance started to form outside the SUNY President's home on campus around 5 p.m., an hour and a half before the start of the event. A larger pro-police message alongside the specific concern over a SUNY professor inviting Muntakim to speak and labeling him as a political prisoner. I don't think he was a political prisoner. I think he was a cop killer, and I can't stand for that. I cannot stand for that knowing that people have given up their lives to protect us and people like him kill him. Across the street a number of SUNY students gathered. Some upset the college made the address virtual instead of in person. One student we spoke with, Javiana Jones, told us she appreciates the unique perspective Munta Kim has to offer. Being a, black, a former Black Panther, I just feel like we're witnessing history, and I feel like that's being violated. The whole free speech is being violated. As the speaking event began online, supporters of the event crossed the street for what appeared to be a group photo. <laughs> Inside, we found a group of students listening to Munta Kim talk about the history of racism and how it relates to the criminal justice system. The criminal injustice system operates for the purpose of keeping black, brown, and people in prison. At one point, Muntakim was asked to describe his experience in prison. He told one story where a psychiatrist came in and asked him how he was doing. And he responded, how do you think I'm doing locked in this cell when I shouldn't be here? Teresa. All right. Thank you, Adam. Originally, Muntakim was going to be paid for his time through a grant, but that was ultimately rescinded. An anonymous donor stepped in, however, to pay the speaking fee. Also, evening classes and other after-school events around the area at SUNY Brockport were canceled in anticipation of the event.